So Lenovo recently launched their Z5 series of smartphones, and even though they're exclusive to China, at least for the time being, they're still pretty interesting smartphones, and Lenovo had them here at MWC, so we decided to check them out. The Z5 series comprises of three phones. We have the Z5 Pro GT, the Z5 Pro, and the Z5S. The Z5 Pro GT is the most powerful one out of the bunch, so we'll just start with that. Uh, it's being powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 855 processor, and the base model has eight gigabytes of RAM with 256 gigs of internal storage, and there's even a model that has 12 gigabytes of RAM and doubles the storage at 512 gigabytes. Uh, it has this unique carbon fiber backing with some really bright red accents, which sort of gives it this race car vibe. Before I continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Digit Daily, our sponsor for Mobile World Congress 2019. Your tech news direct to your inbox. Make sure to check the link in the description below for more information. The normal Z5 Pro is pretty much the same phone, but it's slightly less powerful with the Snapdragon 710 processor, and it also has a glossy black back instead of the carbon fiber. Otherwise, the Z5 Pro and Z5 Pro GT are pretty much identical. They both have big, bright, beautiful AMOLED screens, in-screen fingerprint sensors, a 3,350 milliamp hour battery and dual cameras on the rear with a 16 megapixel primary shooter and a 24 megapixel secondary shooter. Uh, they both also utilize a slider form factor similar to the Honor Magic 2 or the Xiaomi Mi Mix 3, which means that the screen does not have a notch. If you're not feeling the slider form factor, the Z5S has a much more traditional smartphone design and it doesn't have too many compromises. It still has a very sleek glass design, the same processing power as the Z5 Pro, and the battery is only marginally smaller at 3300 milliamp hours. It's also the only one out of the bunch that has a triple rear camera setup. It has a primary 16 megapixel camera, an eight megapixel telephoto lens, and a five megapixel depth sensor. Uh, some other different differences that are worth noting is that it has a standard fingerprint sensor on the rear instead of a in-screen fingerprint sensor, and the screen is LCD with a teardrop style notch instead of AMOLED. So that pretty much does it for this quick hands-on of the Z5 series from Lenovo. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, they are exclusive to China, but hopefully we'll see these phones come to other regions uh, sometime in the future. But let us know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the Z5 series from Lenovo. And as always, keep it tuned here to Android Authority. There's definitely a lot more MWC 2019 coverage to come.